Okay, we're we're gonna we're hitting the we're gonna hit the ground too fast here. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, Jeb. Oh god, Jeb, don't explode. Oh dear. Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program where we are going to attempt a rescue mission for Jeb who's currently trapped on the moon. If you enjoyed this video please let me know by clicking the like button and if you're new here and you'd like to see lots more creative gaming for grown-ups go ahead and click subscribe. Uh, so I've added a mod, my first mod in the game okay and it's called Kerbal Engineer, there we go, Kerbal Engineer Redo and basically what this does is it helps um, us figure out our delta V number. Delta V, I don't really know exactly what it means, but it's basically how much oomph you need to get up and, uh, and out in the system and back again, basically. So um, there's a map online, a really great little diagram that kind of gives you rough estimates, and it says for the moon, we need about 5,000, and I'm pretty sure that means... I mean, that could be there and back, I'm not sure. We're going to try and build it. So basically what we need to do is we, we need one of these, these Mark II command pods. It's basically our command pod, Mark II. It's bigger, uh, but it houses two people, and that's the important bit here because we're going to have to obviously bring one back. So let's leave out of here a second and see with our, um, with our science that we've got here whether or not it's worth uh, opening up some of our larger rocketry. So um, here we go, uh, propulsion systems, um, uh, 48... Spark liquid fuel engine. Um, that's going to be like a big version of the the little one we currently use, I guess. Some weird fuel tanks. Um, heavy rocketry, and um, they just give us some more rockets as well. So yeah, I think they're probably worth getting. Let's research those. Some of these heavier rocketry. Wow. Um, I think we are I don't think we need them, they're, they're all too big. Um specialized construction. No, I don't think we need anything from there. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look. Advanced landing. I don't think we have to worry about that just yet. Although and then oh, I would like to do a rover, a moon rover, so that's probably what we're gonna be looking at eventually as well. There's a bigger command pub. Pub? A bigger command pub. Um but I think for now. That might be quite handy with the mobility enhancer ladder there, look. How much are you? 160. Oh, that's quite a lot. We're pretty much done until we get back with you then, aren't we? Uh, go on, we'll do that. Because then that opens this one up as well, which is going to be for rovers in the next one. 300. Uh, okay, let's hope we've not made a mess up there. Let's go back into here. We've got some big old rockets now, and we opened up some big uh, engines as well before. So here we go. There's our first pod. Uh, first things first, we're going to get a uh, nice little uh, parachute on there. Oops. And just because this is bigger, I feel like we should probably have some radial ones as well. Um, so let's have a couple of these drogue ones just to kind of take the edge off. There we go. Yeah, good. Uh, and then we'll get a bit of uh, electricity on this as well, just to help us when we come into land later on. Are they too big? Yeah, they're pretty big, aren't they? Uh, go on, just a couple of these little ones will do. And underneath that, a couple of batteries. There we go. Quite a nice little busy, uh, busy little pod there, isn't it? Uh, and then we need a heat sink on that. Um, there we go. Oh no, bigger one than that. We're up to the big boys now. There we go. Okay, so that's what's going to land. Basically, that's what's going to bring us back to Kirby. Now, onto that, we need a fair old rocket that's going to land on the moon and come away from the moon. Okay, so let's find the ones that fit on. It's that sort of size, look. Um, and the engine-wise, we'll look at these bigger ones now. Poodle. Oh, it's too big. That's weird. Huh. It must be an in-between size that we don't have access to about one of these that looks like the one we want doesn't it engines oops now that's give us some delta v now we have 2000 delta v there um, and apparently we need 5000 let me just bring up that graphic on the other screen again so I can see what I'm doing um, 
yeah, so that's that 2000. That should get us from um, a low orbit and back, basically. That should. 580, 310, 860. So what we need now is a fair old bit underneath this that will get us up and out of orbit, basically, is what this is kind of telling me, I think. Um, let's make this uh, landable, though. So where did those little, uh, that cool little ladder go that we just had? Is that it? Let me see what that looks like opened up. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's ace. Okay, um, are we covering up buttons? There we are. Let's just uh, absolute drag this down a bit so it's a bit close to the ground. Yeah, there we go. That's good. And obviously we'll uh, close it up now. Oh, we've got variants here. Oh, grey and orange. Oh, yeah, let's go for a bit of a rustic look. Look at that. Okay, and then we need a couple of these. Oh, I just realised we had symmetry on there. Did that put one of those on this side as well? It did. We don't need that there. We just want it on this side, please, pal. Yep, that's good. Oh, no, it was fine where it was. There we go. Retract. Good stuff. And then we'll stick a couple of these up. Just because it's going to help us get to where we uh, want to be without having to jump all around the place. Okay, good. Right, so that's that. Um, now, let's have a think about this. Now we need, well, that's apparently that's enough fuel to land and get off. Okay, so let's just stick some thingies on this then, legs. Okay. Let's have a look how they sit. No. <laughs> nope. So, how are we going to do that then? Let's have a little think. Engines. Can we maybe stick a couple of these things on the side or something? Hmm. I'm going to struggle here, aren't we? Uh, making this a lander. Now, we've lost delta V there because I assume the weight of that hasn't helped. So hold on, let me just, out of interest, see that gives us even more delta V. Hmm. Okay, let's try that then. I'm, I'm figuring out delta V. This may well be an episode where not much happens because I'm just trying to figure this thing out. Um, so let's put that there. Oops, let's make it at least a little bit symmetrical. Okay, so apparently that will land and come back from the moon. Or the moon, even. Um, Alright, so... Well, I'll tell you one thing we haven't got is a uh, a coupler. A decoupler, even. Oh, too big. Yeah, there we go. Uh, if we do that, it makes that little weird shroud around it, but if we do it there it doesn't. I'm never quite sure what the difference is. I'm going to put it there because the shroud makes sense. Okay, so 3000 delta V we've got there. Um, so all we need now is um, we need the next stage that's going to that's gonna get us up into the ground. So start those retracted. That's great. And then we need another bigger decoupler there. Oh, that's wise. Hmm. That would be nice if it if it covered itself up properly. What about you? Nope. Okay. Well, if that's the case, there we go. Um, I mean that just looks awful, but you know whatever. Um, okay, let's stick a fair old rocket to the bottom of this then. Let's have a look. Fuel tanks. Uh, is it you is it? There we go. Okay, and then with our engine, uh, four pounds, three seven five in a vacuum. Oh, your upper stage engine will leave your ears ringing. That's the one that does well in the in the uh, in the vacuum of space. Smaller sibling of the main cell, the skipper's power rivals that of large cities, combining with high thrust with reasonable efficiency. 
Okay, uh, oh, this one is the poodle. Rough economic size, the poodle engine doubles as a barbecue. No. Uh, so, skipper it is. There we go. So, stage. See that? Right, so apparently, right, according to this, that's it. We've got what we need. I mean, it just, it just seems a bit vague, so I feel like I'm going to stick a bit more on. <laughs> because I can. Because that just doesn't seem anywhere near enough. So let's do that. Let's get the engines, uh, or fuel engines even. And let's have a few of these. Um, there we go. Because surely the more, you know, more is enough, isn't it? Uh, Reliance are pretty good for this. Uh, okay. And then we'll stick some aerodynamics on these. There, uh, can we? Yep. So, according to that, this is it. This is what we need. So, let's just um, help the fuel out a little with our, uh, our funky little fuel tubes there and I think we'll put a couple of uh, structural bars here as well because they're going to start rattling a little otherwise okay so they go off as do that okay and then when they're done they come off and then that pops off and then that cake takes us there and back and then the last one is there and there okay cool so crew Let's just, there we go, Bill, come on out. We're going to take Valentina with us. Uh, okay, so Jeb Rescue. Mark 1. Bring him home. Nice little reference there for you, if you get it. Okay, cool. Let's save that off. And let's just go for a launch. That just seems so simple. Okay. I wasn't going to mention it, but I'm going to mention it. This is my eighth attempt at rescuing Jeb. <laughs> um, and this is my first attempt using Flight Engineer, or Kerbal Engineer, whatever it's called. I've tried so many different things. To start off with, I wanted to do uh, like a um, uh, thingy, uh, a, a rover as well, and that got really complicated. And then I tried it with the Sputniki type command pod, and it just didn't go well. So we're going to try it this way instead. We're going to throttle up, and we're going to click F5 and then I think what you're meant to do is you're meant to get the moon on the coming up over the east there so let's speed forward a bit with time because we've missed it for tonight by looks things so we'll swing around time warp Whee, that's quick there we go um, looks like it's already going dark good and it's not quite dark yet, is it? Let's see. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Come on. Any second now, I bet that moon's going to pop up. Here it comes. Moon. A moon. Um, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so then we time lapse down. That's where we want it to be, apparently. I mean, I don't know. That might be rubbish. Okay, here we go. Throttles up. Uh, let's fire. Okay. Okay, it's getting us up. It's getting us up there. Whether or not it's enough, we'll find out. I don't. Oh, let's get Sass on. It doesn't feel like it's much, does it? To be honest with you, it doesn't feel like we've quite got the oomph that we normally have on a rocket launch. But you know what? Nothing's exploding yet. <laughs> uh, very soon, we're going to be able to start. Turn it over a little bit. I, this might actually do it. You know what? It's slow but steady. This is slow. This is very slow but it's very steady. So actually, I think we're probably doing okay. Let's. Uh, we're, 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 we're teetering out a little. Let's, uh, let's get our roll back again. There we go. Else we're going to have a very sort of funky uh, orbit. That these run out. So when they run out, they should pop off. There we go, lovely. And it's going to carry on heading up. So far. Oh, 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 I think we've lost it. Can we save it? Or are we going to hit the ground? Yeah, Sass has gone all over the place. Uh, okay, that was my fault. Completely my fault. Revert to launch. That was completely my fault because. Um, 
I was just I was just tapping around and messing. We didn't have sass on at the beginning. Has our moon moved now? Yeah, it's gone back up to there. Like that's annoying, isn't it? Okay, let's uh, do the time warp again. Oh, daytime. Night time, daytime. Night time, daytime. Okay, and we're coming into dark again. And let's pause it. I'll go a bit quicker. Yeah, there. Okay, that's practically going to be it by the time it gets. By the time we figure out what we're doing. Okay, cool. Uh, so first of all, sass on straight away. That kind of messes up a little bit then with stability assist, and we'll rank up uh, throttle and. Let's go. Okay. Let's try that again. So this uh, gem engineer basically just gives you loads of info that the game knows but doesn't normally tell you. I'm a big fan of these kind of uh, mods, to be honest with you. Uh, we use a lot of them in there. See skylines and a few other things. It gives us the time to periapsis. It tells us we're at what biome we're over. It tells us what altitude is compared to the terrain, as opposed to this number being altitude compared to sea level. So uh, yeah, overall, it's uh, it's pretty sweet. Okay, we're just going to start to tap out now. I think we get to 3,000. A little more. Valentina, hold your, uh, hold your nerve there, my love. Oh, it's going again. It's veering. It's just veering ever so slightly. It's very strange. Oh, and again, look at that. The slightest movement's just uh, really throwing it. So I'm going to actually let it just take its time. There we go. Oh, hello. That was fun. Looks like we're losing it again. Uh, let's just cut power a sec. Well, because we're still going up. Um, let's point towards prograde. And bring up power a little. Yep, there we go. Okay, let's not waste all this. Uh, let's have a look at the map and see if we can save this or not. I'm not sure we can, to be honest with you, because we're almost at our collapses at the moment. And we need to go a lot higher than this. And it's only just going to start creeping up. I wonder why it's doing that. It shouldn't be. I do wonder maybe we're just giving it a bit too much power. Uh, let's try again. Okay, forget the whole waiting for the moon this time, because we're going to get into orbit anyway. So we're just going to go for it. Uh, wax ass on. Uh, throttle up and okay. so yeah I'm not too sure what it is the only thing I can think of is maybe a, a area of uh, oops that's not what I wanted sort of area of um, centre of gravity is shifting so much maybe is the problem hmm yeah not quite sure to be honest why it's uh, causing just any bother at all it shouldn't be it's getting us up in the air, which is a start. That's the speeds, you know, saying at a sort of level it should be. I'm just going to let it go straight up, you know. Let it go straight up, not even bother trying to do it. It's veer off with the liquid fuel. Let the atmosphere pick it up a little. No, it's already going, look. It's already veering off itself, even without me doing anything. There you go, it's finding itself again. It's going back the other way. Is it just that Valentina isn't as good a pilot as Jeb? Or maybe the Mark II is trickier to control? Okay, let's get rid of that. Now there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to just manage this quite nicely. Okay, let's have a look at how we're doing there. As our apoapsis is growing pretty well with a minute to apoapsis, so it's pretty much perfect uh, Speed there, that's starting to strengthen out a little bit, so we're going to teeter out. There we go. Stick it over there somewhere. Now a bit further. Okay, this is looking much better this time. We're going to try and get our apoapsis up to a nice 100. Uh, fuel wise, I feel like we're doing alright, I'm not too sure. Um, there we go. Come on, on then. I'm actually, keeping our time to apoapsis is pretty well in the uh, level we want it to be. To be honest, we just need to raise a bit. Okay, 
Okay, so we're near enough vertical now, so we want it up a little bit. That looks like it's not getting much higher. There we go. Might even pull it back a little bit to raise that up. Okay, yeah, doing all right. Happy with this. Okay, we have whoops. This is now nearly where we want it to be. So it just needs to be about 100, really, to be uh, to be comfy. I mean, you know, it can go less. It can go less, but 100 seems to be like a, a magic number, really. Uh, time up, time to apoapsis is really drawing out now, so I feel like that's probably about what we're going to get. So from here, then, uh, we're going to add a manoeuvre. Would you add a manoeuvre? We're going to add a manoeuvre. We're going to pull this out. Ooh, there we go. And I think they've already flew past each other. Let's bring them in so we can see. Uh, periapsis and uh, apoapsis, 89 and 86. That's about perfect almost. 87, 90. So yeah, much for muchness. Uh, that's fine. 720 milliseconds estimated burn time in 1 minute 10. So I mean, it could just be we've got a lot of weight here. So part of me wants to get rid of that. But do you know what? I'm going to F5 it here. Right. And I'm going to tap that. Um, right, and I'm going to I'm going to redo this because I'm not sure whether that was a good idea or not. <laughs> we're going to add a maneuver again and do that because I think now we're in orbit. Our uh, this other this other engine should do a better job. No, nope, not finished you yet. Oof. No, it's about the same. So in that case, we might as well go back and use the fuel up that we've got and save the fuel of the last stage so we've got some funky maneuvers later on. Um, because we will have funky maneuvers, I know it. Uh, estimated burn, I haven't got a clue. There we go. So we need to burn this in about mm, 10 seconds or so. That'll give us an orbit. Where's the mun? Miles away, I guess. Yeah, right over there, look. Um, okay, let's start this burn. Oh, hold on. Oops. <laughs> I mean, we're near enough points there anyway, but that could have been messy. Okay, this is a nice comfy burn that gets us into orbit. Happy with this. Let's uh, let this run down to zero. That'll put us into a beautiful little. Uh, okay, that's got a nice little orbit of, uh, of there. Then so we've got seventy-three, one hundred two. So we're a little off actually, but I, yeah, I think it'd be okay. What we're going to try and do is put uh, one more in here and see if we can find that um, that mud. See if we've got it over here somewhere. Come on. It's here, I know it is. Come on. Probably it's gonna be over here somewhere, yeah, okay. Alright, that'll do. Where where you were a little nicer a second ago, hold on. Yeah, there, that's a bit more textbook, innit? Uh whoops. Uh moon that is almost perfect actually. It's an eight seven five burn. Uh, for 30 seconds, yeah, we'll go for that. Um, it's on the lower end of the periapsis, but it's still 77. We're still well into the atmosphere, so I think we'll be okay there. Let's um, let's uh, bring it here and walk to the manoeuvre. That should just get us a nice, uh, nice entry to the moon. The big thing here for me, I think, the most difficult part is going to be landing anywhere close to where Jeb is I mean really that's the thing I just I just don't think yet I've got it in me to do that sort of uh, you know perfect landing so to speak um, but we'll see we'll see it's uh, this is already heading over to where it needs to be so pretty much as soon as it gets there we're gonna start the burn here it is it's coming up to here that's our maneuver node uh, we've got an 875 second second burn it looks like we're low on fuel. I can't. I, I still haven't quite figured all this out yet. We'll 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 see. There we go. It's doing it nice. It's coming down nice and nice and uh, comfortably. I guess we want this to kind of run out on this burn. Really, that would be kind of perfect, I suppose. 
So let's see if it does. We might end up with a... Yeah, so there we go. It's already gone there. So let's go back to our ship and pop it off. Right, and then back up again. We're still pointing the right way. So now with this tiny little uh, economic little burner, we've got all this fuel now to get there and back. So I feel like we might be all right. It feels weird to have that huge rocket just to get us out of the earth, out of Kerbal even, uh, Kerbin, excuse me. Uh, just and then this is the actual thing that gets there and back. It's pretty crazy, isn't it? 40, 30, 20, 10. Uh, we're done. Okay, let's have a look where that's put us then. That gives us a run per of 299. So it's uh, uh, pre pretty bit high still, but we can we can sort that no problem with our next maneuver. So we're going to bring ourselves... Oh, no, no, it's going to be retrograde, isn't it? There we go. So it's going to be a pretty fair old retrograde. We're going to get into orbit and then and then figure things out, all right? So rather than just try and bump it down. So what's that give us? 37. Yeah, I'm happy for that. So we're going to come here and warp to the manoeuvre. Okay, here we come. We're in the uh, we're in the uh, the moon's grasp now, and uh, we've got a time to burn is one minute seventeen. So that's thirty, forty, forty and uh, there seconds, forty, thirty nine seconds. So something like that, isn't it? Um, so let's point towards the maneuver. There we go. Should be able to do it nice and quick now. It's got very little weight on this. Okay, uh, we'll get it started. And all these lines are going to go crazy. Basically, all we're going to do is pull this one, whip it round and into here. It's going to be... Yeah, it's a bit funky. It's got all sorts of different options, isn't there, while we do this long burn. I'm hoping it doesn't use up all of our fuel. Because <laughs> we're going to need some fuel to get back off the ground again. That's going to be the big one, is getting back off the ground. That's where we struggled with Jeb. Um, yeah, that's it probably looks like where we're going to struggle again. But at least, you know, it's... It's very efficiently using the fuel. The fuel's only ticking down quite slowly. 260 miles seconds, and we've got 500 and so, 400 and so in there. So I, I, I feel like we're going to be okay. Because um, pretty much once we get into this now, it's a case of just dropping down and pretty much just landing. So here we go. The last little bits now. As the uh, periapsis comes in, here we go. See if we can time this. Almost perfect. 190, 80, 60, 50. It's going to get close as we can. I mean, we can slow it down, but really the idea is this number here should happen all in one moment. And obviously, boom, 0.6. I'll take it. So that gives us a periaps now of 35. Okay, so what we're going to do is here, we're going to do another maneuver and a little tiny burn here just to get our... Uh, Just to get that number uh, around the same. 35. As we can, I hope. 38. 37, 36, 35. There we go. So 35 and 35. Perfect. Okay, it's a nice little quick burn now. 87. Uh, it's going to be some more warp there. And when we get there, we'll point to where we want to be. And this will put us in a nice orbital, and then we just kind of have to wait really until this line sits somewhere over uh, our moon landing. Oh, and that might take a while, <laughs> and it might still not be what we need. Um, Fuel-wise, I think we're looking all right. We're looking better fuel than we have done in uh, previous attempts at this. I just fuel in this final stage is definitely the bit that's getting me, kicking my little ass every time. Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, that's the real bit that's. Uh, that's giving me troubles. Okay, I'm just so impatient, that's my problem. I'm very aware that I'm recording. <laughs> uh, Estimate burn times 12 seconds. We're already pointing towards maneuver. So we're going to give this a go in six. So here we go. And this will give us a nice little orbit of the moon. And we 
do that. Oh, point two, lovely. Okay, so now we are in a nice, relatively equilateral orbit of the Moon. Uh, what's going to happen is as the Moon turns round, as we go round, at some point this line here is going to come over the top of that, and when it does, we can try and land. It's going to take a while, so we'll have a cut. All right, I'm bored of waiting. And also, if we wait, it's going to spin around and be on the dark side of the moon. It's not going to make a very interesting video. So instead, we're going to try and do it and land while it's still a bit of light time anyway. So we're going to do it this way instead. And we're going to do like a funky uh, funky cross maneuver. So we're going to come that way. And then that would be pull this one. There we go. And do like a change of uh, orbit like so. And I'm overshooting it because obviously as we slow down that uh, that arch is going to come in. So we get another 87 uh, ms burn for 11 seconds in 35 minutes. That's all good. So let's go up to that maneuver. Okay. So it's going to. I mean, the only thing is it's throwing us off the orbit. Uh, it's going to be a little funky to get off the planet, off the moon in a bit anyway. But it's. I think we'll be able to succeed. We're still doing. We're still looking all right for fuel, although it's it's close again. I mean, it really is close again. Okay, slow down and go. Point the right way, which you are. That's great. And then when this gets down to about five seconds, we'll uh, we'll do the bend. Uh, okay, here we go. This is going to be the one that pretty much brings us over the top of where young uh, young Jeb is sitting. Uh, so it looks like we're going to go a little north, but overall, that's not too bad. So now we're going to point retrograde now, because the only other thing we're going to do is slow down, basically. So we're going to let it come into about here. That'll do. F5 that. And then here we go. This is going to be our final approach. I, I, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to really see it coming in. So we're kind of just going to have to um, just hope for the best. 23 above. 23 above. So we're not too far off uh, sea level at the moment, altitude-wise. So we're not coming into any major mountains or anything. It looks pretty flat, to be honest with you. So I think that'll be okay. We're, we're going super quick, though. So we're going to just point towards retrograde. Take a bit of speed out okay let's um let's drop our legs just so i know i've done them because i'll forget and i'm gonna quick save again uh okay let's have a look at our map how are we doing so at the moment we're overshooting it that's fine we've got all this time to slow down though you see we're gonna be we're gonna be losing our speed here a lot um because at the moment we're traveling very very quick so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop that down to about 400 see what that does okay that'll do so see what that does to that arch see already we're we're going straight we're no we're not even close <laughs> so um i think we're gonna have to just manage it because i i don't want to try and do this again <laughs> and i don't want to use all my fuel so i'm actually just gonna let this pretty much coast in now and if it gets too fast we'll we'll obviously slow it down but for, to be honest with you when it hits 10,000 meters there we go we're going to let the retrograde pick up and we're just going to full throttle and take all of our speed out and do an almost dead drop to be honest with you and hope we don't land on the edge of a crater It'd be nice if we didn't okay In that crater wouldn't be too bad. It's really just about trying not to use all of the fuel we've got landing, but there we go. We're getting a good, uh, good chunk of our speed out now. It looks like we're going to come down in this crater, and do you know what? I'm, I'm okay with that. It's going to be a bit of a walk for young Jeb, but uh, I think it's going to be the way we do it. I think we're going to, I think he's over there somewhere. So the map just briefly yeah so he's he's a good chunk of a way but it looks like a pretty flat run so i think actually he's probably going to be okay okay We're speeding up a little let's knock some speed out again um this number here about 10 percent of this number here so if this is 400 
Uh, this should be 40. There we go, three. And I think we're going to be all right here, folks. We're looking good. We're looking very good. I'm going to F5 it again because I think fuel-wise we're doing okay. So the only thing we can really mess up now is the actual landing itself, which is not would not be uh, a first and would not be a surprise. Um, we are 700 meters. Oh, we're only 700 meters off the ground. Okay, we really need to drop our fuel then because we're quite high above sea level actually. 500. 400, 300, and we're going to be old school in it and using our shadow if we can see it. There it is. Shadow is going to show us coming in. It disappears for some reason and comes back again. There we go. We're coming in nice and slow now. Nice and slow. Here we go. And then we'll just throttle up a little to keep that number pretty low as we no oh, no 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 not too much you can do you can do too much and we're down and we're bouncing and we're down and we're bouncing and we are down young Valentina Kerman has made her first moon landing good for you Valentina um uh, crew report and stuff I'm not worried about because Jeb's gonna have his unless I mean we are in lowlands here so maybe We'll, we'll do it um, just in case it, he wasn't in Lowlands. I don't think he was actually. Let's go EVA and do an EVA report from the Lowlands as well. There we go. Okay, you can get back in, my love, because now we need to jump over to Kerbin, uh, to, uh, to Jeb. Let's see if he's close enough. He's not. Uh, okay, so let's get to the map and find him. You know what? It looks like nothing, does it? But actually, uh, switch to. It's probably a very, very long way away. <laughs> uh, but we'll see. We'll see how we're getting on. Here he is, lonesome little Jeb. Um, there we go. Can we... Oh, remind me how we open this up. There we go. EVA. Um, take all data. There we go. Because we don't want to forget that. That's all our science. That's the main reason we've come back for you, Jeb. I mean, no, because, you know, we, we want you back on... On, on the planet it's not really just your science uh, okay um, space lands nice and smoothly Jeb no absolutely ridiculous how they fall in this game okay so let's I have absolutely no idea figuring out which way we've got to go um, let's have a look there he is he's doing great so if that's north which I believe it is isn't it because it, it runs on an equilateral orbit yeah so that's north there so we need to go west, very slightly west. So if that's north, we need to go that direction. Yeah? I'm going to quick save. Um, we need to go that direction for a hell of a long time. Okay, I was, I'm, this is risky, I know. But we're using the EVA propellant to kind of get us over there. We have to go... I think we're in here. I think we're in this uh, this uh, this larger crater here. We're going to go over these two and see if we can kind of put him down. I know I, I know this is risky. I know it is, but I think looking at the map. Uh, oh no, we're in this little one here. Okay, let's uh, let's take some speed out of us then. Okay, come on, and then we'll start heading towards the ground. Can we, please? There we go. Is that us then there, or is that just a, a rock? It's really hard to tell. Okay, we're we're going we're hitting the we're gonna hit the ground too fast here. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god, Jeb! Oh god, Jeb! Don't explode! Oh dear. We have a slight problem. The quick save, <laughs> when we go to it, it th throws Jeb into the ground and he explodes, or sometimes he falls all the way through. Why on earth is he doing that? That's very irritating. We really don't want Jeb to die. Ugh. Right, hold on. Let's see if we can save this. Let's go quick save. And as soon as it loads in, we'll pause. 
Okay, and then we'll get to the tracking station. And hopefully that stops Jeb's... Um, stops his sort of physics. And then we'll click first moon landing and see what Jeb's doing. If anything. <laughs> oh, Jeb. Oh, Jeb. Focus moon lander one. Your poor Jeb has disappeared. What is that all about? That's a really annoying bug because I thought we were actually doing quite well. Oh, Jeb. Um, we don't have another quick save. Oh, God, so don't tell me we have to do that whole thing again. Is there any way to save Jeb? Sometimes he doesn't. Sometimes he looks like he's going to survive. Am I just going to sit here? It's like the end of. Um, of uh, Doctor Strange. Uh, spoiler alert, by the way. Come on, Jeb. Come on, Jeb. We can do this together. Oh, Jeb. You're not looking good, buddy. So strange. My, I wonder if it's something to do with him having... Uh, like momentum left over from from the from the thing we've just been doing. Yeah, look, they are look. See this time. I mean, that can't be good. Poor Jeb is falling through the center of the moon. And there's very little I can do about it, Jeb doesn't seem exasperated by it. Take a surface sample, Jeb. You're not in the Moon's Midlands anymore. You're in the middle of the Moon. Uh, I mean, there's just nothing we can do, is there? Poor Jeb. Resume flight. It's the weirdest flight ever. See if that's made a difference, I don't know. No, nope, definitely bugged out there. Poor Jeb has bugged out. Um... Do you know what? We're going to have to leave it there. I feel bad putting out an episode where nothing really happens, but the problem is this is the, the ninth time I have tried to uh, to save poor Jeb, and it was actually going pretty well. And this one's just a game bug, unfortunately, um, which is really rather irritating. He's still going. I'll probably just leave it going and see if he pops at the other end. <laughs> um, all right. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it, even though not really much happened. Tips for... Jeb falling through the moon, I guess, is what I'm asking for this episode. If you enjoyed it, please give us a like. It really does help out the channel. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, you can pop them down in the comments. If you fancy chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at John T. Sparrow. If you'd like to join in with the Geekism community, you can do so over on our Geekism Discord server. You'll find the link for that in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.